Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Claire. If this is your first time here, welcome, welcome. It's great to have you here. Today's video is gonna be a little bit different from my typical everyday beauty glam, but it is like getting to be the middle of the summer. Everyone's getting ready to go back to school or maybe you're getting ready to go to your first year of college. So that's super duper exciting. And you're probably thinking like, what do I actually need? Because you hear a lot of things that you may need. Ignore this little breakout right here, by the way. But you hear a lot of things that you need, but some of those things you don't really need. And then some of the things that people tell you, they leave off a lot of stuff. Or maybe they don't realize the things that you actually do need. So I'm here to tell you the things that you need. Because honestly, I didn't really know what to expect my freshman year. So I brought like the typical things, but there were a lot of things that I learned during my freshman year that I really did need that I had to go out and either buy. I lived in a dorm during my freshman year of college and I had suite mates. So I had my own little individual dorm. It was super tiny. Then I also lived in a dorm my sophomore year of college. So I have had the experience with a dorm. So I do know what you need. And so today I'm just gonna kind of get to the point now. Um, I'm just gonna tell you the top things that you will need. I'm not sure, I don't have that many things. I had a super long list, but then I was like, okay, Claire, they've seen those things before. They've heard they need those things before. So I've condensed this list to not that many items because I just want you to know that these are things that I honestly could not have lived without or I would have gone crazy if I didn't have them. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and start. The first thing that you're gonna need in your dorm room, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you the most important thing that saved my life, just in case you decide to leave this video. Um, you're gonna need a wagon slash cart. And now you're probably thinking, why do I need a wagon? Like, what am I gonna do with a wagon? You are gonna need this. Okay, you can buy these at Walmart. You can buy these at Dick's Sporting Goods, Bass Pro, I think, um, any kind of camping place, academy. Um, you get like a cart, the kind that kind of, you roll on the ground, has like a little, we, you know, it's got the wheels and then you pull it along. You know, you can get them to where they expand and then you can also press them in and everything so they're easy to store. And you're like, why do I need this? Well, when you go grocery shopping, that's the main reason. Because let me tell you, my freshman year of college, my car was like a mile away from my actual dorm. So it was an adventure and you can't park near the dorm. That's where I got assigned parking. And then even like my sophomore year, I got to park across the street from my dorm. But even with groceries, like if you could get a big haul of groceries, it's impossible to carry it all unless you have somebody with you or make two trips. So if you get a cart, it makes it just super easy. And then also if you're like going home for the weekend or the week, um, it makes it easy to put, just throw your duffel bags in that cart and you can leave it in your trunk or like fold it up and put it under your bed. And it's, they're super easy to store. So get yourself a wagon slash cart. You'll, you'll, you'll love me for it later. <laughs> Next thing that's super important, you may have heard this before, but I wanted to tell you this just in case, Brita water filter. Now, you may not have a big refrigerator when you live in a dorm. Um, I luckily did, but I know a lot of people only have mini fridges, but they do make them now where they, where they are a little bit smaller. Um, but a water filter will save you so much money so you don't have to buy water bottles because you don't want to do that. And then also you're not drinking that nasty tap water because when I drink tap water, I have a weird throat. I get sick over everything. So tap water does make my throat hurt. I don't know what it is in it. But the Brita water filter just cleans your water, makes it super easy to drink. So definitely invest in one of those. And it's only a couple dollars to buy the replacements to put in there. So you buy it once and then it's just so much cheaper than my water bottles all the time. Next thing you're gonna need, super important, a lap tray. Now you're gonna need a lap tray for a couple reasons. You can buy them that are just like, I have a plain black one, it's just plain and flat, and then under it's like kind of foamy, so it's comfortable to sit on your lap. I use this, I still use it now, honestly, in my bed, but this is mainly like, because when you're in a dorm, you're honestly gonna end up eating your bed, eating in your bed. Um, I'm kind of a germaphobe, so I don't really love to do that, but I did end up doing that, whether I liked it or not. And so, yeah, that, and then also you can do homework in your bed, and it just keeps it from getting messy everywhere, and then gives you something sturdy to ride on. So invest in like a little tray. I think I got mine at Target, maybe, um, somewhere like that. Maybe it was like Home Goods. I don't know, just get yourself a little tray, or even if it has like the things on the side, like a little old-fashioned, you know, bed and breakfast kind of tray, get you one. You're gonna need it. Next thing, now this is not a necessity, but this definitely made 
my freshman year better. My roommate gave me one of these. She had one and it just made me feel better. An essential oils diffuser. And now you may be thinking, I don't use those. But I didn't either until she gave me one and then I started using it all the time. And I had like lavender and eucalyptus and you just put it in there because in your dorm room, a lot of dorm rooms, you're not allowed to have candles. Let me just go ahead and tell you that. You probably already know that. You're not allowed to have candles and you can't have things that plug in the wall, but diffusers are just kind of make you feel better. They'll make headaches go away depending on what kind of essential oil you use and they fill the room without being overpowering like a candle would and so it just makes you feel good and you still get that smell and it's just go ahead and buy one, okay? Next thing, you're gonna need a laundry basket with wheels or either some kind of strong handles because I know people that have these super cute little laundry baskets, but they're like stands in their room. It's almost like a laundry basket table thing that you can't really move. And yeah, super cute and all, but you're gonna, I had to carry my laundry down three flights of stairs or even like down the hall to get all the way to the elevator and it's rough and I know some people that live in dorms where the laundry room is like in a totally other building or they don't have one at all so if you just get one of those super cute ones it makes it rough and I suggest one with wheels or if you go back to number one and you buy yourself a wagon you can just put your laundry in there so that's where you know it ties back in <laughs> you're gonna need it trust me okay this next thing a set of tools now you're like I don't need no tools you know all my stuff is gonna be working or I can just call somebody to come fix it if it breaks you never know it could be the middle of the night you know something could break I used mine I had like just a mini pack it was just like a super little girly pack of tools and like you can also put like scissors a flashlight you know just get yourself a little toolbox a little mini cute one um, it doesn't have to be big and like every single single type of tool everywhere but you never know like a handle could fall off your drawer and or like something could break you never know what you're gonna need tools for and they just just you just need them you never know so get yourself a little mini pack of tools and also go in off of that like something you're gonna need like a little pack of something get yourself a little medicine cabinet box type thing now go ahead at the beginning of the year buy yourself a big just kind of like a container you know with a snap off lid and fill that thing with any kind of medicine you may think you can need now do that in the very beginning of the school year buy yourself any kind of headache medicine stomach medicine flu medicine just anything that you think you may need throughout that school year um band-aids um lady products um you know just anything it will make it so much easier to just have it all in one box that way it's not like the middle of the school year and you're like mom i have to throw up and i don't have the energy to go to ride aid to get i don't know medicine and you just have that all in that box and then also medicine normally lasts like a year without expiring or longer and so yeah you'll have that and it may last you until the next school year too next thing super important should have said this sooner You've seen this, if you've seen my video about how I stay organized, get yourself a filing folder. Now, this will save you so much time in organizing stuff. I love my filing folder. I got mine at Target. It's like, almost like the box kind that's like this kind of width and then like length about this, you know, just kind of big. Um, it has probably like 25 slots in it. And I also have little folders to put inside those slots. And I use that for every class I've ever taken. I go to Auburn University. And so I just put all of my old classes in there just, just in case I may need something because I have had to pull things out to like give to people, to look over, like, you know, use for myself for other classes. You never know when you're gonna need that stuff again. And then I also have a folder for nothing except for stuff for my major. Um, and that's just because I'm a double major and I have to have two curriculums and then I have in there curriculums that I've made like myself and I'm just I'm weirdly organized about that kind of stuff so yeah get yourself a little folder and then folders for inside of that to do like all your classes and your major and stuff just so you stay organized and keep on track of things this next thing y'all this is so important I wish I would have said this sooner just in case you've left already you are gonna need an extra set of sheets for your bed let me tell you why now let me just say, like if you spill something in the middle of the night or if your sheets get dirty and you just can't take it anymore, you, you're in college, you get lazy, you haven't washed them in months and you don't wanna wash them right then because you do have to like go pay to go to the laundry room, blah, it's a lot. So get yourself a nice set of bed sheets, right? Your standard set. Then get yourself a backup set of bed sheets. Now they don't have to be a thousand thread count, whatever. You know, just get yourself a backup set of sheets, like the full on sheet set. Don't really need a comforter, extra one or anything, but you know, have yourself an extra, extra little, extra set of sheets just in case anything does happen because, um, you know, you're gonna want that and you're not gonna wanna wash things like every week when you're in college, when you're living in a dorm because it's just a little too difficult. So yeah, get yourself an extra set of sheets. You'll love it, trust me. 
and going off of that also for your bed now this is going to cost you a little bit extra moolah but you're going to love it trust me get yourself a high quality mattress topper i know some people that go to school that don't even buy mattress toppers and yeah they are expensive but honestly it dorm rooms they don't care about your comfort they like you need that mattress topper no matter what where, what brand you get where you get it walmart kohl's whatever i think i got mine at jc penny um, mine was a four inch mattress topper it was the best bed i've ever slept on that was so comfortable i missed that mattress topper it was incredibly comfortable i think i still have it and we bring it on vacation for, for like my friends to sleep on the floor and it was four inches tall like you don't have to get a four inch one i recommend it but you don't have to have it but it was just amazing to sleep on so just get you something because you're going to be living there for almost a full year and you want to be comfortable while you're there especially when you're adjusting from living at home and sleeping in your comfortable bed that you know and love to sleeping in what feels like a stranger's bed um make it feel homey get yourself that mattress topper <laughs> getting down to the nitty gritty but this next thing is super important um some dorm rooms don't allow these but if i didn't have these i don't know what i would have done get yourself some extension cords if they're allowed check and make sure those are allowed because some places don't allow that but you're gonna have lamps like a desk lamp a bedside table lamp phone charger computer charger essential oil diffuser um night light whatever sorry my phone's dying whatever you may need um you're gonna have so many things you're gonna have to plug in all the time and so get yourself an extension cord at least one i think i had like three different ones like the long gun and so um i don't even know if they're called extension cords i mean they are extension cords but you know what I'm talking about, the ones you plug in the wall and then they have like several different plugs in there. I don't think that's actually called an extension cord, but you know what I'm saying. So get yourself one of those. Okay, this last thing is super important. Um, I would go crazy without mine. This is something to keep you organized. I'm actually reading out of mine now because I keep everything in it. If you've seen my video about how I stay organized again, um, you'll know that I use this all the time. This is my planner. Get yourself either a calendar for your desk, like a big one, or either a planner so you can stay organized. Now, you're going to want to write everything down because when you are a freshman um, or sophomore or a junior, you get kind of overwhelmed, especially freshmen. You don't know what to expect. Write everything down. Every due date, every assignment day, every time you have homework due, just write it down. Even though you think you're going to remember it, you may slip up and forget or somebody may ask you and you may not know it off the top of your head go ahead and write it all down inside of a planner or a calendar and you will thank me later I promise okay y'all that was it for today's video um there are so many other things that I probably could have included in here but you know I may if I think of other things that I may need um or may think that you may need I will make another video when it gets closer to the school year but these are just things that I felt like were essentials you know things that I needed during my freshman and sophomore years when I did live on campus because they just helped make things so much easier for me and you're gonna want those years to be super easy and I know you're probably getting ready to start buying things for your dorm room put these things on your list and really consider getting them over just um, you know, it's really fun decorating your dorm room and getting those cute little knickknacks and stuff But these are just staples that are kind of worth spending money more on this than other things And so yeah, I hope this video is helpful if you have any other questions about um, Freshman year of college or any college year leave me a comment in the comments below Or if you have any ideas that you would like other people to know about for things that you'll need in your dorm room comment those down below also because Let's help people. Why not? Also, if you like this video and you would like to see things more like this, give me a thumbs up and also press that subscribe button. Super appreciate it. I post new videos three times a week. Mostly it's beauty and makeup and everything. But um, I am going to kind of switch it up sometimes and put these videos in there. Sorry I have such bad posture. I'm just kind of like slouching and <laughs> whatever. But anyway, thank you for watching this video. Hope it was a, uh, hope it was helpful. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Have a great day.